All right, what do we got here? We are probably not that stealthy. We're very slow. We have 15 barrels on a 30 second reload and a kind of crappy traverse. 21 kilometers of range. 350 millimeters, so that's 14, almost 14 inches. Like the German 14 inches. Okay. Um, Yo, yeah, we're asking about a secondary build. Let's see. So I've got casemate 150s and deck mounted double barrel 105s. The 105s have 26 mils of pen. the armor layout look like 350 32 32 50 on the most of the deck at least you might could push with this ship but the turret arrangement is not conducive to pushing where are the torpedoes it's where are they what, what is this is this like an invisible torpedo launcher? What is this? Are they below the... Are these torpedoes like below the water line? Hull mounted. Okay. That's freaky. What the hell? This ship screams kite to me. Like with all that, that torpedo arrangement and the turrets, like it screams kite away. It also screams fire a whole lot of HE. Hmm. I don't know that I want to build a secondary build on this ship. I don't know that you want to do that. 3.4 on reload, 8.6. Yikes, that hurts. Um, let's look at this real briefly. If you were to try for secondaries, we'd probably be going Demolition Expert. I'm going to want Turret Traverse, and we're going to want to do something like that. Now I have nine kilometer secondaries on three second reload. That gets me 32 mils. That gets me 47 mils. The 32 is useful in my matchmaking bracket. The 47 is likely overkill. But now, how do I live? Like, I have to do some... I have to play doofball games for survivability here at this stage. If I go something like this. That kind of hurts. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if the secondary build is the way to play this ship, guys. I'm not sure you want to mess with it. I it, it It feels like such a heavy investment. What's another, what's another tier 8 battleship with good secondaries that we know you get good work out of? Well, Zeton. Let's look at Zeton. I have had filthy games with Zeton secondaries. Let's compare the armament. So Zeton has 8 barrels of the 105s, or excuse me, 16 barrels of the 105s instead of 12s. And she has a total of 12 barrels of the 150s instead of just 8. Is it just, it's because it's just 8 for this thing, right? Yeah. So you have 50% more secondaries almost in both categories. On Zeton, a secondary build feels worth it. What about a Bismarck? Bismarck. 8 of the 105s, 12 of the 150s. 50% or 16 and 16 and 12 feels good. Turpit should be fairly comparable, right? 16, right? 16 and 12. So then you get to Anhalt, and Anhalt is. Anhalt is 12 and 8. I don't think you want to build this ship for secondaries. I don't think it's worth it. Odin? Let's see. What, what's Odin? Odin is 12 and 6. Odin is Odin's secondaries are even, even worse. And of course, I've got a secondary build Odin here, but I don't think this ship is all that great. She does get the 128s. That helps a lot. That does help a lot. Quite a bit. Hmm. And she gets the 150s in barrels as opposed to the casemate mounted. In the, in the dual turrets. I don't think secondary is the way to go. 
I think you gotta go. I think you gotta go. Survivability main battle build main main battery build on this ship. Let's find out if I'm. Let's find out if I'm on crack. Four points left. Um, I'm thinking maybe. What's the A defense like? Six puffs. That's not bad. As tier eight battleships goes, that's not terrible. Um. Hmm. Range on the airstrike is six or eight. Ten. That's nice. That makes this worth it then. And then what's my stealth? I could probably get this thing down under twelve. Retro with the follow. Thank you much. Um, what do you think? Swift? I think brisk, maybe? She could probably get pretty stealthy. So what, let's save those last two points. Let's do that to start. Let's look at equipment for a minute. I want to see where she gets for stealthy. If I go stealth rig, and I probably will. How low does she go? 12-2, is that all? Feels feels high. Hmm. Not as stealthy as I would have hoped. So maybe Brisky's not the right play. Probably steering gears mod. Oh yeah, big time. Yikes. Alright. Um, do I need main battery mod here? I think 37 is probably okay. Probably need aiming systems. I'm betting these guns are all over the place. Damage control here. And main armaments here. I'm betting this is a... With this many barrels, this ship has to have a terrible Sigma. I haven't looked, but it just has to. Like, it, the Sigma on this ship must be trash. All right, let's burn less, flood less, and heal more. We'll get the speed. I got one flag left. Let's try not to explode. 1.7 is not great. So, yeah, I could see it. All right, we've done equipment. I've still got two skill points to spend. Um, I think the torpedo protection is the right play. I saw somebody in chat talk about it, and I think it is absolutely the right play. Because I don't have... Do I have Hydro? Please give me Hydro. Oh, this is brutal. Yeah, I'm going to go with Torpedo Protection. I mean, it's not... It's kind of the best of a bad lot, really. But yeah, let's go Torpedo Protection. Okay. All right, we've done build, we've done flags, we've done modules, we've done everything. Okay. All right, let's go see what this ship is all about. What is my secondary range now? 8.4. Okay. All right, let's try Unhalt for the first time. This is for Hetman. We'll give it a go. I'm bound to get a carrier. I'm curious to see how she holds up against planes, depending on which carrier you get. Kaga. That's about as bad as it can get for me. If I spawn near the Dezeve, I will probably just make love to him all game. That'll keep that'll be my Kaga repellent. No turtleback. So yeah, this ship isn't a brawler at all. If this ship has no turtleback, and though that's the weak that you know, those secondaries are that weak, then no, this is not a brawler. What is with these torpedo angles? I have a bow tube the work and a sucks, stern tube. Nice. I go where I please. And I please where I go. Oh, this is strange as hell. Alright, this is a very World War One design. You can just seal it. You can just see it. Where are you going, Dezeve? Come on, you and I. We're going to be best buddies. Yeah, these torpedo angles are just bizarre. Now, the fun thing is, you can dump them right in somebody's face. And they've got a fast reload on them. They hit like trains. So maybe then... Okay, so this is a ship that I think that might... I could see it potentially reward brawling in the right situation. Similar to how maybe the British battlecruisers would reward it, right? In the right moment, in the right instance, the brawling is worthwhile. Otherwise, mm -mm. I mean, these still hit pretty hard. This is a 20k alpha. Almost 21. Yeah. 20 and a half thousand point alpha. Like, they're gonna, 
Whoever you hit with is going to feel that. Now, the odds of me landing on any landing shells on anything is uh, maneuverable and as an Amalfi is pretty slim, but I figure I'll take the shot and see how the guns perform. He never touched his rudder. Seriously, dude? Come on. Why you do this? They are slow. They're 40... No. 54 knot torpedoes. So that's not super fast. An angry smoke cloud has appeared. I need the Dezeve's AA to really back me up here, blessedly. Between the Zeve and the Massa, we're in good shape. If this Dezeve dies, I'm going to be in trouble. I need that to not happen. Oh, that Adriatico just got hammered. Hang on, I'm waiting for the black to turn back where we can spot him. I'm going to have a better shot. So far, this thing just feels like a giant HE thrower. Yeah, just one torque per launcher, I think. Hey, what's up, my dude? Turned right out of those. I missed them all. Well, I clipped him at least. That's something. All right, I need to get out of here. I am drawing a little too much attention for my for my tastes. Salvo from the Veneto is probably going to hurt quite a bit. Yeah, luckily he blew most of it into the island. I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to kick your ass. Plus, I'm still moving with the Dezeve, which I like. That gives me the flexibility to piss off the Kaga. I need the Zed to not get his face smashed in, though. Yeah, like that. He got his face smashed in. Let's try the AP. Let's see what I can get out of this AP. Feels like the answer is going to be not much. Let's find out. Yeah, our Zed is in trouble. Kill the, kill the black and we're in good shape. Yeah, okay. We're wiping out their destroyers pretty effectively here. No, awesome. I don't have a mo I don't have a command for that. I can tell you though. I mean, I have to look it up, but part of me is kind of tempted to get up here and try to brawl with these cruisers, just because I want to see what it'll be like. Gucci, Gucci. Monarch is out. We have a, hu a huge lead at this stage. Gucci, Gucci. I'm betting the AP pen is terrible. Let's find out.
I mean, that wasn't awful. It certainly wasn't game-breaking, but it wasn't terrible. Wish I had it for the Hampshire right there. That would have been a beautiful shot. God, the ship is slow and fat. <laughs> bounces, of course, bounces. Hmm. I'm not impressed with this thing. I'll say that. Um, it's different, but it's not good different, you know? Does that make sense? Like, it doesn't feel like a good ship. I mean, we've got such a ridiculous lead at this stage. I'm probably just going to charge these clowns, and if I die, I die. I sort of don't care. Part of me kind of wants to get up here and try to brawl with these torpedoes just to see what'll happen. Fifteen shells versus Hampshire. Who wins? Hampshire. Fifteen shells, three overpins. Feels good, kids. Feels good. I even shorted it, and it didn't matter. He still laughed at me. When the Hampshire dies, I think the game ends. I want to see what I can get against the Broadside Iowa. I mean, I'm getting decent full pins out of the guns. The guns are not awful. The ship is just not... There's not a lot... I don't know, man. She's not fast. Hmm. I mean, that's not a conclusive result by any stretch. But I'd say that's fairly mediocre. Um... You know, you know, VDF, I like, I, if I'm honest, I like this ship better than I like Mecklenburg. I, I don't like Mecklenburg. I think Mecklenburg is terrible. These guns feel more accurate than Mecklenburg. These guns feel like they hit harder than Mecklenburg. Now, that might be my fault. Like, I haven't gone to look. If I go compare the two, let's have a quick peek, actually. You've, you've piqued my curiosity now. Are these the same guns that are on Mecklenburg? I'm actually curious. Uh, ship comparison. No, artillery chart. I want Germany. Battleship. Uh, no, Germany premium. Mecklenburg. Mecklenburgs are 305s. So already I'm going to feel different than Mecklenburg, right? Yeah. Yeah, these guns definitely feel better than Mecklenburg. Because Mecklenburg, Mecklenburg is firing 12-inch guns. These are 14s. So the guns already feel better. The hull is fairly soft, but I think my bigger problem with the hull is how slow it is. You're constantly maneuvering to bring all your turrets to action. And those stern turrets take forever to get around, right? That hurts. Hmm. The lack of hydro means that pushing is a challenge, but the torpedoes reward you for finding that yourself. And that's it. It's just, this, this feels like a ship that is like all over the place, right? Like you have second, you have decent secondaries, not amazing, but decent, and torpedoes. So you're encouraged to brawl to use those armaments, but your armor scheme not built for it. You're not fast enough to charge anything down, pretty much in your matchmaking bracket. I mean, an Iowa has you by like 15 knots, right? I mean, in theory, it's not that. This has 26, right? But this ship takes so long to build up to that speed. As soon as you touch your rudder, you lose five knots. It's crazy. Yeah, I agree, Chaser. This is a ship that feels like it has a huge identity crisis. Like, it just doesn't know what it wants to be when it grows, grows up. So, I, I don't think I can recommend this one. Um, I mean, if you if you, you pick one up and you want to play it, hey, you do you. I, this is not a ship that I will probably play a lot of. 
it doesn't appeal to me because it doesn't, it doesn't, I want to say it's a ship that doesn't do anything well, and that's not fair. Uh, like, American destroyers could also make the same claim, right? Like, you know, jack of all trades, master of none. This ship kind of feels that way. But at least with the American destroyers, I know that I've got good guns and good torpedoes. I can get work out of them. I can put the ship in positions, yada, yada, yada. The ship... Uh, designed by committee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, mm -mm. I don't... I, uh, this ship is probably a hard pass for me. Probably a hard pass.